Greetings to all. My name is Maikhmala Jana. The title of our paper is Fusion of Multimodal Images Using Parametrically Optimized PCNN and DCT-Based Fourier Analysis. Our work is based on the process of image fusion, which has crucial application in medical field. I start by presenting our objective and motivation on this work in the next slide. We have tried to develop a fusion rule for multimodal medical images. This helps to reduce the storage spaces for preserving the multiple images and save the valuable time for disease diagnosis. Medical image fusion is a process of coalescing multiple images from different sources. So, different image sensors produces different types of relevant features and thus fusion helps to retain large information in a single image for clinical applicability. In medical diagnosis, various multimodal images are used to obtain significant information of affected organs or tissues. The commonly used modalities are MRI, which can describe anatomical structure of organ, and PET or SPECT, which describes functionality of tissues. Advanced researches related to image fusion has taken place in past, from applying many decomposition rules on images and then fusing by methods such as simple averaging, SVD, PCA, etc., to using PCNN as fusion rule. Researchers have employed Pulse Coupled Neural Network PCNN model either directly or in a modified manner for fusing multimodal images. The actual problem arises in combining this relevant information in a single image which will help in better treatment planning. In our present study, we have tried to develop an algorithm which doesn't use much complex computational power and still results in a fused image which contains all the relevant information. This slide presents the methodology of our fusion rule. Firstly, we consider two images, MRI as grayscale image and PET or SPECT as RGB image. In the next step, both the source images are decomposed using NSCT rule into low frequency and high frequency components. Then, the low frequency component undergoes decomposition into amplitude and phase spectrum by applying DCT followed by discrete Fourier transform. In step 4, we have applied SVT to fuse the amplitude and the phase part undergoes parametrically optimized PCNN rule for fusion. Step 5 and 6 states the novel edge enhanced algorithm used to fuse high frequency subband. Finally, inverse transform is performed to generate final image. This is the pictorial summary of the proposed fusion rule by flowchart. Our proposed novel fusion rule uses much less complex methods to compute the final fused image. The low frequency is decomposed further using new algorithm which is DCT followed by DFT method of decomposition into amplitude and phase spectrum which then used for further fusion input. Amplitude spectrum contains the information about relative dimension and phase spectrum contains information about relative position of the image with respect to each other. Our proposed method uses parametrically optimized PCNN which is less complex computationally than conventional PCNN and also as it uses image features to generate the parameters, most of the information of images are retained. It helps in preserving and improving the hidden but significant features of the complementary information present in source images. The high frequency components are fused using novel edge enhanced algorithm. These novel approaches over images helps in extracting relevant features from both source images. In this slide, the details of the type of modal images considered for experimentation is given. The source of the images is provided and we have used MATLAB for our experimentation purpose. The multimodal images used as stated previously are MRI, PET and SPECT. The methods which are used to compare the effectiveness of our, of our proposed fusion method is shown here. The method 1 is PCA based fusion approach. Method 2 use Shirley transform to decompose source images and then SVD to fuse them. Method 3 uses non subsample shielded transform using YIQ color space, and for fusing, they used simple averaging and maximum selection rule. Method 4 used Laplacian decision graph decomposition scheme using gradient enhancement method.
fusion approach was inverse redecomposition and local energy maximum. Our proposed method has already been discussed. Here, the first set of results are presented, obtained by fusion of PET and MRI. From subjective analysis, we can clearly see, as depicted by the arrows, that the image obtained using proposed algorithm preserves the detailings and color saliency is also better compared to the other presented methods. The second set of PET and MRI fusion also supports our proposed fusion rule by preserving edge details. Here is another set of fusion results, that is PET and MRI. We can observe the resultant fused image by other traditional fusion rules degrades fine edge information. In this set also we can observe that the results of other methods has deteriorated color contrast, suffers lack of visual clarity, degrades prominent structural differences and introduces artifacts and inconsistencies. This slide presents the subjective analysis as explained previously dedicated mainly to fused PET and MRI image. This slide also represents subjective analysis for SPECT and MRI fused image mainly. The enhanced image of set 2 is shown. Our fusion rule is able to overcome the shortcomings present in other methods like they have extra fuzzy edges. That is, fine edges of the brain slices are not captured properly. Moreover, our proposed method has better color contrast and no over enhancement of color which shows the effectiveness over other presented methods. The anatomical and functional characteristic information is well preserved in our proposed fusion method as shown by the arrowheads. The quantitative matrix also suggests the same that is it is higher in case of our method presented in upcoming slides. This slide and the next slide includes the quantitative measures defined properly which have been used like entropy, spatial frequency and variance. This slide depicts the evaluation parameters. The better parameters are in bold. Some parameters may be slightly lesser than the other parameters. This happened due to the noise present in other methods fusion results which increased their evaluation parameters. Where our method uses parametrically optimized PCNN which helps in eradicating noise very effectively. Our method shows images with less color distortion, better overall clarity contrast, better edge preservation and no over color enhancement. So the parameters may not be better in few cases but visually our method has better features. To quickly summarize we have proposed a new fusion approach based on DCT followed by DFT and used parametrically optimized PCNN for fusion. The source images are decomposed using NSCT. We have also introduced a novel algorithm to fuse high frequency components. The low frequency components are decomposed by DCT followed by DFT then fused by SVD and parametrically optimized PCNN. Overcoming the limitations like lacking visual clarity in fused image and not able to combine relevant characteristics from source images by traditional methods describes how effective our proposed fusion algorithm is both by subjective and objective point of view. Furthermore, sophisticated and advanced fusion rule may capture more minute detail and neighborhood effects of source image data while removing artifacts. Here we have used two images to fuse which can be extended to multiple images. These are the references used. Thank you.